Welcome to Kids Fine Art DIY. I would like to begin today's video with a brief intro of some popular coloring materials. Markers, very easy to use. I recommend this for four-year-old kids. Color pencils, with color pencils, kids won't leave marks on their face or on their clothes, but with the fine tip. It might be hard for some kids to color their pictures evenly. Crayons, very easy to use. Some kids might need to push extra hard when coloring. Oil pastels, it's like a softer crayon, easier to mix color, but compared to a crayon, it's not as transparent. It can be used on a colored paper. Soft pastel, very soft chalk. Can mix color smoothly. My students love using it for bigger space in the background, like the sky in the picture. But you might find powder flying around when kids blow the pastel off the paper. Watercolor. It's transparent. Colors could blend in nicely. It's usually watery. Works good on the watercolor paper. Gouache, like a thicker watercolor. Not transparent works better on thick paper. Acrylic paint, it could be thin or thick when mixed with different amount of water. It is usually used on canvas and it dries fast. Oil paint, it's oil based, which means you mix with oil. It's used on canvas and dries slow. I don't recommend oil paint for kids under 10 years old. It could get really messy and it's hard to clean. Now let's start our project today, creating a picture of ladybugs. I recommend paper size around 11 by 14 inch, 70 pound or more. It's helpful to have them start with bigger size. If they always draw small, they might have less confidence and a harder time to draw bigger later. Again, instead of showing kids how to draw, have them observe the objects, talk them through if they need help. Let's go see some ladybugs. Ladybug's shape is circle, so let's draw a circle. Make sure it's not too small. There are head and body. The head is smaller, body is bigger. Two eyes on the front of the head. Two antennas on the head. Two wings on the back. Let's draw a line in the middle of the circle. Then polka dots. Ask them questions such as how many legs does a ladybug have and where are they located? And how do the legs look like? Now we're done with the ladybug. Have them draw more ladybugs. They always love the idea of mommy ladybugs with baby ladybugs. Now coloring. If your marker doesn't smear, so it's okay to start with black. If your marker smears, you should start with any other color and the black is the last one. Build the fence first. They love using random colors, and I think that looks great. 
ask them where are they, ladybugs, if they say they're on the grass. So let's draw some grass. If the background still look empty, put some dots for small grass. Here is another look of ladybug. Different background. I used crayon on a light brown paper on this one. You can also use other papers and other materials. If your kid's drawing is different from what I'm showing here, but it still looks like ladybug, that would be great. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.